Uh, can we talk about some trade news? And, uh, well, Essen are never too far away from that conversation. Yeah, gee, I love this from Essen. I've been calling for this for a long time. So Jake Stringer has hit a contract clause to get an extra year next year. He wants longer than that. And the Bombers have said, well, if you want longer than that, go somewhere else and have a look around. Now, this report here from Sam McClure says that Zach Merritt wasn't happy with that and invented his frustrations for the club, feel like he thinks there should be a longer tenure. That, but, but that is the exact way to play Jake Stringer. He should never be signed on anything longer than a one-year deal from here on out to the end of his career. If he wants to go somewhere else, he can go somewhere else. But this is a statement from a club that needs a statement. Nice work. The Richmond exodus continues. So there's three players now who have requested trades out of the Tigers, Premiership players. So you've got Bolton, Rioli and also Baker. We've known about the Baker one for a long time. They all want out. This is the perfect opportunity. This club won three Premierships in four years in just about their best period of their history. If they can now renegotiate some of these draft picks, if they can get six, seven, potentially eight picks in the first 30 and then some next year for forward picks, I think it's the perfect opportunity to rebound. They're not going to play finals football for the next one, two, maybe even three years, but they have got the base now if they can get rid of those players to really rock it up, back up the ladder very, very quickly. And question to you, you you've just come out of the game. Three senior players, three premiership players, what would you do? Yeah, well... They're, they want to leave. Uh, the club, I feel like they want to move them on because they want to reload before Tasmania come in. What you want is the conversations to be open, the dialogue to be clear, and then you can set your expectations off that. So, as you said, if they can get six, seven, eight picks in the first 30, maybe trade a couple to next year as well if they like a couple of players coming up, you know within three or four years you're going to be reloading and going again. So, depending on where your age sits with that club, I think it's a really good move by the yeah. Tigers. So Time now for Damo and his Sunday agenda. Yeah, TJ, as we know, Hawthorne Footy Club has a 2024 final series to, to wade through and some people think they can still go all the way but what will happen next year is they'll have both Tom Barris and Josh Battle as part of their mix, Izzy, and it's going to be a massive change to the, the, the dynamic of this football club, which has done a lot of its run and a lot of its uh, hard work from its uh, flow of ball out of the back line without those two tall key players. Yeah, they have, and where their strengths lie at the moment is their smaller players and being able to run. But you get two players like this, you can lock them in defence, you know they're going to be there and you can play off that a fair bit. They've still got to get the deals done and they've got a September to go ahead with. But if they can land them, that is massive for the club. Do you like a brownie? I do, and they're going to have a lot of players because they've got a, a couple of injured ones. Sicily, where does he play? He can mm. roll around the ground, so that is massive. And I think Frost has been fantastic. So, I mean, pressure for selection. There'll be a couple playing in the twos, obviously, but to have those two players is pretty handy. And also James Blank, who's been a project player for, for Sam Mitchell for some time, who's kept recovering from an ACL. Kane, the, the Pies situation, we spoke with Craig McRae at a lunch on, on Friday, and the, the fact that they're going into 2025 with uh, retention of their older players will take a look at the names on that list. All these players hit the age of, uh, of 31 as of round one next year. Now, given that they're coming off a, a grand final win last year, failing to make finals this year, the top name on that list is still playing as well as ever. Side bottom had a good close to the season, but there, there are question marks about uh, the other names on that list from an age and durability perspective. Yeah, I think that, and, and rightly so, I think most of them have probably earned their position to go on again. Certainly side bottom's finished to the season and how it's terrific. Pendlebury the same. Question marks over Mitchell and also Cox for me, whether they'll be in their starting lineup for round one uh, next year, but everyone else probably deserves to go on. Yep. North Melbourne uh, is on record now as wanting a senior experienced player from another football club. The West Australian newspaper reporting during the week that that man on screen... Jack Darling could well be the, the target of... I have no line Surely of sight. Surely not, Damo. Yeah, I, I wanted to raise it for that reason, Kane. I have no line of sight on that being the case. I'm not, I'm not at all saying the story's wrong. I, I don't know. But I would be staggered if they felt that Jack Darling was going to solve the problems that they are clearly trying to deal with. And there are so many problems in that footy club at the yeah. moment. I don't think Jack Darling's going to solve it. How many players yeah. have they bought in from other clubs that just haven't worked and they pay big money to get them? That, that would be a mistake if that's true. Yep. And uh, Izzy, the Daniel Rioli passage to the Gold Coast Suns... Uh, denied during the course of the year when, of course, he just had a catch-up with Damien Hardwick on the Gold Coast. He's contracted until the, the end of 2027. Do you like that and what it will do for the, the Suns? I like that for Gold Coast, if they can get him. Uh, his last month, six weeks of football, was, I would say, nearly as good as any player in the competition, certainly half-back-wise. Uh, so that would be a great move, experienced player, three-time premiership player. Uh, that would be huge for the Gold Coast Suns. Yeah, huge. And they may uh, lose Kane, uh, Jack Lukosius, who's got... A 
big decision to make. Contracted beyond next year for the, the Suns, but interest both in his home state of South Australia and other clubs in Victoria. Yeah, and wherever he goes, he's got to lift. He, he's got to get the most out of himself. There's so much talent there. He hasn't maximised that. I like it at Adelaide because you've got the Phil Seeker, you've got Fogarty and then Lacocious roaming, but he's got to play better than what he has so far.